Greetings. I just want to take this opportunity to discuss converting pounds and ounces to kilograms. We have one example here. Step one with converting pounds uh, and kilograms, I'm sorry, pounds and ounces to kilograms. Step one is to always start with the ounces, uh, converting the ounces to pounds first. We know that 16 ounces equals one pound. So we take the four ounces, we divide by 16, and that gives us 0 0.25 pounds. We take that and we add it to the 10 here. With that, it gives us 10.25 pounds. Now we can actually convert it to kilograms. Uh, 2.2 pounds is equivalent to one kilograms. So um, to convert pounds to kilograms, we divide by 2.2. To convert kilograms to pounds, we multiply by 2.2. So we're going to convert this to kilograms by dividing by 2.2. And that gives us 4.65, we round to the nearest tenth, always, and that gives us 4.7. That is the answer for that one, okay? All right, here's our next one, 11 pounds and eight ounces. Again, step one is to convert the ounces to pounds first. So we take eight, we divide it by 16, and that gives us 0 0.5 pounds. We add that to the 11 pounds, and that would give us 11.5 pounds. Now we can convert, now we can convert the pounds to kilograms by dividing by 2.2. You always round your kilograms to the nearest tenth. So 11.5 divided by 2.2, and that gives us 5.22, round to the nearest tenth, 5.2 kilograms is the answer. All right, here's our next one, 12 pounds, 10 ounces. Again, we start with the ounces, converting those to pounds. We divide by 2.2, I'm sorry, <laughs> oops, we divide by 16. So 10 uh, ounces divided by 16, that gives us 0 0.625 pounds. Right, we add that to the 12 here, that would give us 12.625. Now we can convert it to kilograms by dividing by 2.2, and that would give us 5.73. We round it to the nearest tenth, 5.7 kilograms is the answer. All right, here's the last one. Eight pounds, six ounces. Step one, convert these ounces to pounds by dividing by 16. That comes out to 0 0.375. We add that to the eight pounds here. And that's gonna give us 8375 now we're gonna convert this to kilograms by dividing by 2.2, and that's gonna give us 3.80, round to the nearest tenth, 3.8 kilograms is the answer. Of course, that cancels out. All right, I hope this was helpful. Thank you.